Hey what's going on YouTube, today I'm here to show you how to get the Belharza's Band. As with all antiquities, there is a prerequisite of level 7 for Mythic Leads. This antiquity came with the Deadlands DLC and is one of the more fun mythics to play with. In this video I'll cover the 5 different leads and how to get them. With that being said, here's the easiest way I found to unlocking your very own Belharza's Band. So for this mythic, we need to unlock 5 different leads. They are the Alessian Sacramental Oil. Bull's Head Gallery Rail, Crimson Diamond, Edge Silver Horns, and Stainless Imperial Band. So starting off with the first lead, the Alessian Sacramental Oil. This lead can be found by killing the Liminaris boss at Tribune's Folly in the Gold Coast. Uh, in terms of drop rate, I've gotten it twice. One time it dropped on the fourth try and the second time it dropped on the first try. It's a pretty simple boss with usually a ton of people there. So you shouldn't have any problems getting this lead. Just as a bonus tip, if you don't get it on like your first drop or whatever and you're waiting for the boss to respawn, just go out and look for some chests for a couple minutes because one of the leads actually drops from chests from the Gold Coast. Which is the perfect segue into the next one, which is Etched Silver Horns. This is just from treasure chests in the Gold Coast. What I like to do is I like to just do a loop around starting from the northern side and just go in a counterclockwise. Uh, for drop rates, I believe the first time I got it within maybe 10 chests, second time took about 20 chests. So don't be discouraged if it takes you a couple tries. So next up is the Bull's Head Gallery Rail. This one drops from the Deadlands Daily Reward Coffers. So once you do your dailies from the Deadlands in Fargrave and you turn them in, when you get those coffers, it has a chance to drop within the coffers. Uh, I got mine within three days worth, so I don't think this one should be that bad. And as far as the dailies are concerned, you have the Delve Daily and the World Boss Daily. And there's plenty of people doing them, so you shouldn't have any issues doing them. Moving on to the Stainless Imperial Band, this one has a chance from dropping from any monster within the Black Drake Villa dungeon. There's two really great sets in this dungeon, so if you're farming for this lead and you don't have the sets, it would be a great time to get the sets. Drake's Rush and Kinra. I have no idea on what the drop rate was because I ended up with this after finishing my sticker book for Black Drake, so I can't really speak much about it. So for the final lead, and the worst one by far, is gonna be the Crimson Diamond lead. This one drops from Falkreath Dungeon, it's a DLC dungeon in Craglorn. So basically you just run through the dungeon, look for the two chests that spawn every run, and then leave, repeat, and hope to RNG that you'll get it within, you know, a few tries. This one is absolutely terrible in terms of drop rate. I've gotten it twice, first time took about 20 chests, second time wasn't that bad, it was like 12 chests or 11, something along those lines. I do have a video on Falkreath and just some general chest locations that I've managed to find over my 50 so runs. The only redeeming factor is if you don't have Pillar of Nern, it's a great set and I definitely recommend you farm it. So once you get all five leads, just go to the Deadlands and dig them up and you are good to go. Closing thoughts, uh, the ring itself isn't meta or super popular, but I've managed to use it in some interesting builds such as a uh, light attack werewolf build that I'm working on right now for PvP. I guess it's more of a fun mythic rather than a necessary mythic so but farming it isn't as terrible as I expected it to be considering how bad some of them can be like harpooners. I don't want to talk about harpooners. Actually I'm so traumatized I don't even want to go back to Shadowfen but that's another story. Anyways um I think that wraps it up. Thank you for watching my video and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below. As a reminder, if this video helped in any way, please help the channel grow by subscribing. And yeah, may RNGesus bless you, and thanks again.